Well, it's day two, and my day started with my doctor's office calling, I guess because they got the reports of the emergency. Um, freaking out after seeing the CT scans and the x-rays. So my doctor's office called to make sure that I had follow-up appointments and they were extremely surprised that I was at home uh, in a collar given the seriousness of the area of the fracture. Apparently where I fractured on the C1 and C2 are both critical areas for breathing and the head, but particularly for breathing, uh, anything worse, and I could have been on a respirator for the rest of my life. Very sobering thought. So this is how I started day two. Um, I was pretty calm until they called, and then I started freaking out a little bit, um, thinking about what could have been. Anyway, so I'm lying here trying to stay calm and breathing, thankfully. And um, I've actually been practicing my breathing exercises as I'm lying in bed. And that's something that I would definitely recommend if you haven't done any, uh, any breathing exercises. Now's the time to start. It tends to calm you down. Um, so mindfulness and meditation, there's some great apps out there. Calm being one of them, balance, and uh, other meditation apps, apps that uh, you can use. And as you're lying here recovering, uh, try a few of the breathing exercises. I think you might find that it just helps to calm you down when you're freaking out like I was this morning. Um, I'm not going to be too long today. I was going to briefly talk about sleeping. Uh, I would certainly recommend sleep aids if you have to sleep on your back and you're not used to it. Uh, things like melatonin, um, even uh, some uh, over-the-counter sleeping medication or sleeping pills just to help you get off to sleep, especially if you're not used to sleeping on your back. It really does help. Uh, also, I have my head slightly elevated on my pillow, just to make it a little bit easier. And, uh, and I would recommend that. And sometimes people uh, will put towels on either side of their head when they're lying on their back, just to prevent their head moving from side to side. Uh, the best that I can suggest is uh, some kind of sleeping medication just to help you get to sleep if you're not used to sleeping on your back. Don't go to sleep hungry. And when you're going to sleep, practice those breathing exercises, get a good app, and uh, just practice calming yourself down to get ready to sleep. Day two started. <laughs>